Yo, what is up guys? So I've been reading a lot of your comments in the Road to Rank 1 Solo Standard series that I wanted to try to do. And a lot of you guys are saying that I don't seem like I enjoy Solo Standard, which is true. And I don't feel like I will like gain too much from it as like a player. I feel like it might actually hurt me in a sense playing too much Solo Standard because I'm so used to playing with pros all the time. And I have to scrim at my team and I have to try to perform well for RLCS. So I don't think it's best for me to play Solo Standard and try to get used to those bad habits and like those kind of weird play styles that you have to try to adapt to when you're playing Solo Standard. So I think it's best for me to play something like a 1v1 series for Road to Rank 1. And I think a lot of you guys like to see me play 1s regardless. So I'd be totally down to do a 1v1 Road to Rank 1 series. So I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to start that. Um, only thing is, when I'm streaming, sometimes people ask me to play 1v1. So you guys might not see every single game. But I'll try to show you guys as many games as possible. I'll try not to play any games if I can on stream. Only when somebody asks me, maybe I'll play one every now and then. But I'll try to show you guys every single game if I can for 1v1. Let's get into it. I will continue from where we left off. We're currently at 1243. That is from the previous video where we played 1v1. I haven't played any games since that. So let's get into it. Hopefully we went to. Let's go. Alright, for the first game, we're playing against not so juicy nitrovity. I think that's how you say it. Let's get into it. I had a lot of fun in the last episode playing 1v1s as well. You know it wasn't for Roach Rank 1, but this. Now we got something on the line. I'm gonna make it uh, even more. Fun for me to play. I'm gonna enjoy it even more. Nice little seal shot to start it off with. I'm gonna have fun with it. We obviously want to win here. We want to get to rank one. That's the main goal of this. But at the same time, let's try to make it entertaining for you guys. Yeah, it's an awkward uh, situation to be in for sure. It's much easier for the attacker than it is for the defender at that point. Because as soon as I turn a challenge, just gonna roll past whatever way I don't turn toward. The opposite of wherever I turn, pretty much. I'm assuming based already off the first like 20 seconds, this guy, this playstyle is going to be super grounded. That's what I noticed already. So we'll try to play around that. When you're playing 1v1, a big thing to look out for is just your opponent's tendencies. Like, use the first mid of the game to kind of feel out what they do. When they have time with the ball, what kind of dribble do they like to go for? Is it a bounce dribble? How do they react to your fake challenges? Like, stuff like that. I just figure out how they want to play. Try to beat him to that ball. Nah, I should have a lot of time. Even if that's not on target, I have a lot of time to finish that. I definitely need to go for it. Just because of the position of the ball, honestly. That's just like. Kind of just comes with experience and playing the game for a while. Kind of know. Someone's going to try to go for something like that. And challenge quick, because again, I saw him taking a lot of time earlier. Plenty of time with the ball. So I've already kind of figured out what he wants to do with the ball whenever he has time to slow it down. Like that first goal he got against me. It's not even a bad thing that he scored it because I kind of learned like what he likes to do when he has time with the ball. It's not a bad idea to like look at it like that if you get scored on. You know, you learn from the mistake. He's going to get a goal out of this probably unless he misses somehow. I somehow got out of that nice little half flip to escape. Pretty low boost here though. Gotta have to play it pretty smart in order to get out of this and survive. Like I said, I just play patient on defense. Cause he's just gonna wait for me to turn. That's gonna be his whole game plan pretty much. Just like play slow. As soon as I try to challenge, he's gonna try to hit it around the opposite way that I challenge. Seems to be his dribbling style. Not a bad dribbling style, but. You gotta try to switch it up every now and then. You can't do the same thing all the time. Leave that there. If he misses, it's fine. Let's go back now. I get some pads in the way. This is a good challenge. Might be able to score it as well. There we go. Playing pretty smart so far. Playing pretty well. It's a good opponent though. Could definitely still come back. He's playing well. He just has to switch up his dribbles. That's his main problem, I think. Yeah, he's stuck on the wall. Very awkward spot. And I knew he couldn't turn in time to get that past me. There's no reason for me not to challenge there. I try to go for a fast kick up. I don't know if this is going to work. I've been faking the last few. Maybe he'll stop. That's fine. Decent bounce for me. Wasn't something he could score off of, so. He's also been demoing a lot from behind, so I've been looking out for that too. 
Try to pop that up and just leave it there. Probably not gonna be in, but I can still grab the other boost probably. There we go. Nice little bit of control. I knew he had no boost after I stole that one in the corner. And that's gonna be the game he ended up leaving. But we played really well that first game. I like how we played. We played it pretty smart. We learned how he was playing, we adapted to it, and we're playing around him very well. We made it very difficult for him to get anything going. So, very good first game. Super good stuff. We'll see if we can keep it up into the next one. I'm pretty sure that guy was grand champ. He found that game pretty much instantly, and we got 10 points off it, I think. So, he must have been pretty high ranked. So, let's get into the next one, and let's see if we can keep it up. Let's go. All right, we got a tough game here. For the last game of the video, we're playing against Karma. So, she's currently a pro right now. She's an RLRS, I'm pretty sure. Or she's going to be trying out for it. She's RLRS level, 100%. So it's definitely going to be a tough one. We'll start it off with the ceiling shot. Ooh, we're trying to hit it around there. She's probably going to be able to score this. Unless it bounces bad for her, but I doubt it. It's pretty easy to score this. Nice. I should have went for this ceiling shot. I tried to fake her, but she ended up going for a... Uh, off the top of the roof save. It's probably the best save to go for in that situation. Yeah, she plays a lot of ones though, so this will be a, be a tough one for sure. Got to catch her off guard with early challenges and stuff. Never really played her in one, so this will be a new experience in terms of learning how she plays or what she wants to do. But she jumped way too far off the wall for that. And it'll give me a free goal. You never really want to use the walls in ones too much, especially for wall hits like this, because if you make a bad touch like she just did right there, then your opponent can just dribble it, catch the ball, and it's a free goal. Do you want to try to avoid... Um, like wall touches in general. Ah, that's a terrible 50. It's a sad goal. Very sad. But it's okay. If I didn't challenge her there, she's gonna have a free ball and I would have had no boost retreating. Just down to a bad kickoff. We got it back. The beauty of 1v1, dude. Terrible goal after terrible goal. <laughs> I don't know how I won that so hard. Power of the Dominus, I guess. Gotta hold on to some boost though for kickoff. Right, we can get this mid one. Oh, I can't believe I missed that boost. She missed the ball though. Okay, we should be able to finish this off. She messed up. We'll take it. We'll take it. She missed her first touch on the on the ball. She's gonna get back around the ball in time. Alright, we're going for the ceiling shot. We're going full commit for the ceiling shot this time. There we go. Much better. Go with your gut, dude. That was my problem with the first goal. I second guessed myself. I didn't think I can get the ceiling shot, so I went for the fake after, but I need to just stick to what I know I can pull off. No reason not to. If you know it'll work in a certain situation, why not? Here we have a decent amount of boost here. I feel like I shouldn't have gave her the ball there, but she can't really do much with it, so I'm not too upset about that decision. I'm trying to beat her to that, and I can probably turn finish off the shot now. My main goal was to beat her to the first touch though. Because I knew she would challenge it. I didn't have to get it on target. If I went for the shot, she probably would have beat me on the 50-50. The so it was probably the better play to do that. I gotta head for the ball here. Oh, she's went for the beat around me. Just like I did on the last goal as well. I had to go for the ball. She was way closer to the ball than me, so I had to go for the block and she just touched it around me. Pretty easy goal for her. I'll fake this one. What the hell? She didn't even go for the she didn't go for the boost or the shot. She just kinda sat there. I've actually never seen that. It's pretty risky on her part, honestly. Because if I got the touch on that, I just tried to block her, but if I got the touch, it was a goal against her for sure. 100 percent by the ceiling shot. I'm actually gonna go for the durable instead. Surprise. She backed off, which is good for me. Give me a little bit of space here, but it's kind of hard to get anything going. Might be in, there we go. Again, it was kind of an awkward situation to be in. I was trying not to give the ball away for free. They're trying to fake challenge me. She didn't want to go for a challenge if she would have lost in midfield, which is smart. 
but I also knew that, so no reason for me to give her um, a free ball for nothing. It's safe from her. She's gonna be stuck in the gold though for a sec. Could probably take this back to my side. Let me check where she is. Okay, I'm good. I'm gonna fake. Stay with it. Go for air dribble here. Hit it over here. I can't shoot. I go for the boost at least. Ah, oh, that's a terrible miss. That's so bad. That's really bad for me. I should have 100% had that goal. She went way too far out for um, for a pad. Like it was not the greatest idea to go for a pad there from her, because she was in a really good position on defense if she had just waited. Or regardless, it worked out because I missed. Should have really been a goal for me though. If I'm being honest with myself. Just a bad miss from me, but it happens. I'd be too upset at myself for that. And I missed again. I'm throwing the game. Yeah, I'm throwing by just missing free goals. It's all good though. We just gotta not miss. Easy fix. She has given me a lot of opportunities. She probably shouldn't have been though. Go for the boost quick. Should I pop it around her? Yeah, she has no boost now. She should be really low. Okay, it's fun. She gotta wait. I don't miss open nets anymore. It's a thing of the past. See, I told you. Easy, easy fix, dude. I gave three three open nets to her because of me not scoring open nets. Gotta focus, gotta focus. Not miss the empty nets. It's gonna be a goal, probably. This is rough, dude. This is a rough game. Give me a kickoff back. Fine, I'll try to get us to the side. Still have like a good amount of boost at least. Trying to make her throw the ball away. Probably she's staying with this if I'm honest. Not think she would. Yeah, a little bit risky from here. Ends up giving me a goal. She didn't have a whole lot she could do with that really. She would have had to hit a perfect flippy set. And uh, I had it blocked all the way. Even if she did get the flippy set, I think it would have had the 50. Now we should need to get a good kick off here. She can't go for this because of her boost amount, I think. Oh, never mind. I actually did get to it. All right, can't lie to you. I thought she'd have enough boost, but she must have not used like any boost on kickoff and then picked up like three pads instantly. We're both just making a ton of mistakes. Honestly, I'll run the board. Pretty messy game, but that's 1v1 in a nutshell. This should be a scoring opportunity for me if I don't mess it up. There we go. Kind of stalled there, dribble for a second to make her like second guess herself. Then I uh, started going faster as soon as he jumped. Just need to not mess up the kickoff. And we messed up the kickoff. Again. But she missed. Oh my goodness. She threw. But I almost threw as well. To be fair, we both kind of sucked that game. <laughs> we both really did suck that game. That wasn't the greatest. That literally could have been a super intense, like, high-level game. But it ended up looking pretty sloppy. Like, we are both messing up quite a bit. Not gonna lie to you. But that's the beauty of 1v1. Makes you do weird things. Um, so yeah, a lot of empty net misses on my side. That's a lot of free goals for her. A lot of kickoff goals back and forth. It's just a mixture of just, just a bunch of one v one iness. I don't know how to, how to even call, how to explain it. But we ended up getting a lot of points of that. We're at twelve sixty five now. We got a lot of points this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I could have definitely played a million times better that game. I made so many mistakes, countless mistakes. But I'm sure she she thinks the same way. She didn't play perfectly as well. So anyway, regardless. 
that's how this is going to be. You know, it's going to be a lot of close games like this, a lot of really random stuff that goes down, but we got some nice goals here or there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time you're in right now watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I love you all. Peace.